All right, so the last thing we're going to talk about in the 1.1 section is finding x and y intercepts. Okay, so let's talk about what intercepts are, and then we'll talk about how to find them. So an x-intercept is a point, so that's very important. It is a point, x, y, where the graph crosses the x-axis, so it intercepts the x-axis. And a y-intercept is a point, x, y, where a graph crosses or intercepts the y-axis. So number five just says, we want to determine the x and y-intercepts of the previous example, so this equation right here that we've already graphed, and label those two on the graph. Okay, so remember, x-intercept is a point where our um, graph crosses the x-axis. So where does that happen over here? Where does our graph cross the x-axis? Well, crosses right there, and it also crosses there. So I'll say x int for x intercept because that's where we cross the x axis. All right, I'm gonna, also going to put it down here. So our x intercepts are the points negative 1, 0, as well as the point 1, 0. It's where we cross the x axis. So we want to look for the same thing for y intercepts. So this time we're looking at the y axis. And where does our graph cross the y-axis? Happens right here at the point 0, 1. All right, so my question is, what do you notice about these intercepts? So the main thing that I notice is that they have zeros in them. I want to write that down. And how are they different? Well, it's the location of the zeros. So x-intercepts have a zero in the y position, and y-intercepts have a zero in the x position. All right, so maybe I'll say for x-intercepts, which is the point, the y part is zero. And for y-intercepts, again, is a point, the x part is 0. So this is the main thing you need to take away from this. x-intercepts, y is 0, y-intercepts, x is 0. And if you need to think about it on a graph, you can look at that as well and create one. We can also figure out intercepts algebraically, so we don't need to know what the graph looks like to figure out where the intercepts are located. But we're going to use the same piece of inter information to do so. All right, so example six says determine the x-intercepts for our same um, equation, y minus the absolute value of x equals negative one. And we want to do it algebraically. So remember, what's the one thing we want to remember about x-intercepts? You have to remember x intercepts y equals 0. So that's what we'll use to answer this question. All right, we're just going to set y equal to 0. Okay, and so here, let's solve for what x is going to be. We already know what y is, 0. So how do we solve for x? Well, we have a 0 right here. So we know that this is just negative absolute value of x is negative 1. How do we solve for x here? Well, we have a negative in front. Let's get rid of that. So let's, we could either multiply or divide by negative 1. Maybe let's say we'll multiply by negative 1 on both sides. So when you do that, you'll have absolute value of x equals 1. So what values could x possibly be to make the absolute value of x equal 1? Well, x could be 1, but we would still get the same answer if x were negative 1. So if we plug x equals 1 here, it will equal 1. And if we plug in x equals negative 1 here, we would also get we will also get positive 1 as well. 
Okay, so to answer this question, we are not done. X equals one and X equals negative one is not an intercept because intercepts are points. X comma Y. So we need X comma Y to answer our question. All right, so X value one goes with what Y value? The zero. And X value negative one? Y has to be zero if it's an x-intercept. So these are our two answers. All right, sorry, it keeps refocusing whenever I put my hand here. All right, and then finally, let's look at the y-intercept or intercepts of this problem. Same thing, what's the main thing we need to remember about y-intercepts? Well, if we have a y-intercept, that means that x must be 0. So that's exactly what we're going to use to answer this question. We're going to let x equal 0. And this time, we're going to solve for y. All right, so we know the absolute value of 0 is just 0. Well, that was quick. We already know that y is negative 1. So is that the answer, y equals negative 1? No. Remember, intercepts are points, x comma y. So we know that y is negative 1. What's our x? Well, we said it from the beginning. x is 0. That is the answer. All right, so at the bottom here, I want you to answer these questions, yes or no. And if your answer is no, make sure you ask me in class to explain in more depth.